Cowabunga dudes! Michelangelo here from the original Ninja Turtles and you are about to watch a very cool Ninja Turtles review by Pixel Dan right here. Alright! Turtle power! Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze, Leonardo. That's right, Playmates Toys is releasing a new set of classic collection action figures based on the Secret of the Ooze movie. These particular figures are exclusive to Walmart stores, and they come packed with a ton of accessories. So let's go ahead and start things off by taking a look at Leo. As you can see, the figures come in new window box packaging. It's got the Secret of the Ooze logo on the bottom there, as well as the new TMT logo across the top. And as you can see, the window there fully showcases our action figure and all of his accessories within. As you flip this around to the backside, it has a brief description of the figure and the movie he's based on, as well as giving you a look at the figure that is within this box. So let's go ahead and pull that figure out of the packaging and take a closer look at him. Now, first things first, if you picked up the classic collection turtles that were based on the first movie from 1990, it is worth noting that the bodies on these figures are the exact same sculpt. The only real differences here are the accessories and the paint deco. So if you've already got those figures, uh, you're already familiar with the way the actual figure itself is designed. But as you can see straight out of the box, uh, the head that comes on the figure is a different head sculpt. And I actually really like this particular head sculpt. Um, it's a really nice, just kind of standard look. You can see he's got a brief smile on his face there. Um, just a really overall good kind of standard look for Leonardo. I like the uh, longer bandana pieces hanging down in the back and everything as well. Now, one thing that's really cool about these figures is each of the turtles in this line comes with four alternate heads. And the heads are very easy to swap off. Uh, they're just on a ball joint so if you kind of give a nice little tug there you can see that the head pops right off the ball joint now uh, putting it on it's still a very firm grip so you can see it's a nice tight grip it's not too loose and it's not going to get real wobbly or anything but it is very easy to interchange so let's take a look at those other heads real quick uh, we've got a few different ones here uh, we've got this particular head here that has like a nice uh, teeth showing a grin on his face. It's kind of got like a big goofy smile going on there, basically. We've got another teeth pose where the eyes aren't quite as, or the mouth isn't quite as wide. You can see it's a bit of a more subtle uh, teeth, uh, teeth grin there, toothy grin, I guess. Uh, and you can also see too that they're a little stiff when you work them on that ball joint. There you go. The eyes are a little crooked on this head, unfortunately. Um, and it's kind of a goofy looking head overall. The bandana's even like sticking straight up in the back. And the last head that comes with this is actually the same head that came with that original 1990 Leo. It's the really weird one where he's kind of got that uh, scared look on his face. Also, mine seems to be crooked. You can see the bandana is placed on crooked, so the eyes are a little off-centered. It's really weird. It's glued that way. That's kind of a bummer. Um, hopefully, that's just a weird error with mine here. So, it's cool that we have the interchangeable heads. However, um, the head that comes on the figure right out of the package is definitely my favorite of the four it is the best looking head by far and definitely the one that i plan to use while posing this figure so this figure is a bit larger than a standard size Ninja Turtles action figure. Uh, just like everything else in the classic collection, the figure actually stands 6 inches tall, and he features over 30 points of articulation. Uh, we'll get more into the articulation in just a bit, but looking at the sculpt here, uh, it is a pretty decent sculpt, and I did talk about these in my review of the original uh, 1990 movie figure, so it's the same shared sculpt, and you can see it's actually pretty well done there. Uh, the only thing I will say about it is, while it's a pretty nice looking Ninja Turtles action figure, um, he doesn't look exactly like he appeared in the movie. Um, it's close, but it's definitely not an exact representation of the way the characters looked in the film. I do really like the details on the shell. And you can see the sheath on his back that does house his katana blades, which is really nice. And the skin tone on his is a bit of a different skin tone than what we saw on the original 1990 movie figures. In fact, as we're looking at all four turtles uh, through my reviews here, you're going to notice that their skin tones on these figures actually more match the skin tones of the original toys. Uh, rather than they actually match the movie, which is an interesting choice, but I'm 
actually okay with that. I, I think these make nice looking toy versions of the turtles for sure. Uh, there's really no extra detail in the paint deco. It's very basic. Uh, it would be cool if we got a little bit of shading. Uh, also, the spots are definitely missing. And I mentioned that a little bit in the first movie review, which wasn't as big of a deal. But in Secret of the Ooze, the spots were much more prominent on the turtle costumes. So it would have been nice to kind of see some spots on these figures. That is lacking. So let's go ahead and talk articulation with this figure. The head is on that ball joint like I showed you, which allows it to look left and right, as well as kind of roll all the way around. We do have nice ball joints at the shoulders, so the arms can go up, forwards, backwards. You get a nice swivel at the bicep. You have good double joints at the elbow with the elbow pad going over it. I really like that. You got swivels at the wrist, and then you got individually articulated fingers, which honestly, I can do without those. And we'll talk about that more when we're talking about his weapons. He does have a nice uh, torso uh, swivel there. Look at that nice ball joint in the uh, upper body. So you can actually rotate that all the way around. The shell is connected to that upper portion of the body. Um, so it's going to hinder the movement a little bit, but that's actually a pretty good range of motion for a turtle's figure. Uh, you do got those nice uh, ball-like uh, joints at the hips there, so legs can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. You got the swivels there as well as the swivels at the thighs. Nice double joints at the knees hidden by the knee pads. Again, I really like that. You got really nice joints at the ankles, which are good and tight on this figure. Uh, you can also kind of rock the ankle side to side there. And then you've got individually articulated toes, which I don't know is really necessary, but it'd be kind of cool uh, for if you want to get some of those poses with them kind of up on his toes. For the most part, the joints are nice and tight. Um, the legs are a little looser than I'd like them to be, uh, but it's not too bad. You can see that he does stand fine. I can pose him good. The only time we're going to really run into a problem is with those fingers. So let's talk about that. Let's look at his katanas here. Of course, uh, his first accessories are his signature weapon, the katana blades. And one thing that's really nice about these is we actually do have paint on them. The handles have nice brown wraps. The blades themselves are just kind of a gray plastic, but that is a lot more paint than we typically see uh, on Turtles weapons. So that is really nice. Now, he does have little indentions on his hands to try to hold onto the accessories, but he doesn't get a great grip. And this is where the problem comes in with those articulated fingers. I kind of wish he had hands that were just molded to hold weapons more tightly um, because he doesn't get a very tight grip on these katanas, unfortunately. So you'll kind of have to mess around with it a little bit with the fingers, just trying to get him to hold on to him good. And he never really gets a fully tight grip on him. So Leonardo does come with a few other accessories, which is really cool. In addition to the katanas and the heads, he does also come with four shurikens, some ninja stars. Uh, these are pretty neat. They are just molded in a solid gray plastic. Of course, he doesn't really have anywhere to store them, but you can kind of pinch his fingers on there and he can actually hold on to them pretty good. So that's kind of nice to have a neat little accessory like that. And lastly, he comes with two different mutagen canisters, which is really cool. Now, they are a bit smaller and skinnier than they appeared in the film. So, uh, I imagine they did that to try to make it so he can hold on to it better with his uh, grip there, which he can. He can hold on to him pretty good. Um, but we do have some deco, which is nice. You can see there's some little stripes of green showing the ooze inside. Otherwise, it's just a gray plastic that matches the swords. Um, but it does also have TGRI printed on it, which, of course, is what it was in the movie. Instead of TCRI, it was TGRI. Um, so that's pretty cool, and like I said, Leo can hold on to it. The other one is a broken canister. You can actually see uh, TGRI is uh, misprinted on mine, unfortunately. Um, but this is kind of neat because it does have green ooze just kind of spilling out of it. So this one you can just kind of set on the ground and uh, make sure the turtles don't step in it. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Those are pretty cool accessories. I do really like that they come with so many accessories. Uh, the interchangeable heads are pretty neat, but I especially love that he's got stuff like the mutagen canisters. I think that is a really cool added bonus that we didn't get the first time around with the uh, 1990 movie figures. Speaking of those, it's comparison time. Here's a look at this brand new Secret of the Ooze Leonardo standing alongside that version from the original movie so you can see the differences. And you can see he's got that different head on. Otherwise, they are the same figure. I will say that the joints on the new one are much tighter than the joints on the original release, which is a huge plus. And just for fun, here he is standing alongside the vintage movie star Leonardo. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Secret of the Ooze Leonardo figure from Playmates Toys. 
Uh, at first, I didn't really know if these were a necessary release because we already got those movie versions and I knew that the sculpts were going to be pretty much the same. But I will say that I feel like Playmates improved upon that just a bit. The joints are a little bit tighter this time around, which is really nice. I actually like the new skin tone color and the alternate heads are a really nice touch, even though I only really like this head. I can really kind of do without the other ones, but you know, it's neat to have the option. I do like all of the extra accessories, but I will say that the figure itself still isn't a perfect representation of the way he appeared in the film. However, looking at him as just a really nice looking Leonardo action figure, he definitely fits that bill. So he's pretty cool, and if you didn't pick up the original release of the movie figures or you just want some of the extra accessories, I definitely think this new Walmart exclusive is worth tracking down. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button and also subscribe so you never miss out on one of my Ninja Turtles reviews. Until next time, my friends.